Albany with Thanksgiving over, the intraparty battle among state Senate Democrats is again heating up. The Democratic Legislative Campaign Committee, a national group focused on electing Democratic state legislatures across the country, is threatening to help back primaries in the coming year against a group of eight breakaway New York State Senate Democrats. Meanwhile, longtime influential Democratic activist Bertha Lewis has recorded several automated telephone calls in support of the Independent Democratic Conference and some of its members already facing potential primary challenges in 2018. Jessica Post, executive director of the, the Democratic Legislative Campaign Committee, or DLCC, said her group would prefer the eight-member state Senate Independent Democratic Conference break its leadership coalition with the Republican and form a new one with the mainline Dems. Short of that, the DLCC is not ruling out backing primaries against the eight rogue Dems in 2018. Our mission at the DLCC is to elect more Democrats in order to gain control of legislatures and advance Democratic values. Post said, Right now in the New York Senate the IDC is standing in the way of these goals. We hope that these rogue members return to the main line but until they do, all options are on the table for returning this chamber to its rightful Democratic majority. IDC member Sen. Diane Savinio, of Staten Island, shot back at Post and the DLCC, saying that with its track record, it will not only guarantee that Republicans maintain their majority, but they will grow it. We are about electing Democrats. If they want to be helpful, they can work with us. Post is the latest national figure to weigh in on the intraparty dispute. Minnesota Rep. Keith Ellison, who is also the Democratic National Committee Deputy Chairman in June also warned of potential primary challenges against he breakaway Dems if they don't reunify with the mainline Senate Democrats. On the flip side, Lewis, the founder and president of the Black Leadership Coalition and the past head of the now-defunct ACORN, has recorded several automated phone messages known as robocalls urging New Yorkers to support the IDC. Arthur Lewis is a progressive lioness touting the achievements of the IDC and setting the record straight on who we are and what we do, said IDC spokeswoman Candice Giove. One Lewis call focuses on the IDC as a whole while three others will specifically support IDC members Jesse Hamilton, of Brooklyn, Jose Perlita and Tony Avella of Queens, and Marisol of Alcantara of Manhattan, in their districts. As one election season ends and another begins, we all need to be thankful of those elected officials who honor us with true independence, Lewis says in one call. She said the IDC has been delivering for the people of our state without any partisan fighting and personal attacks, these things that plague our current political environment. In the Hamilton call, Lewis strikes back at those who claim the IDC is emboldening Republicans by saying, in order to be true progressive, you first need to be independent. She credits the IDC with helping to get past legislation to raise the age of criminal consent. A Senate Democrat noted that Lewis and her group this year had endorsed Hiram Monserrate's unsuccessful bid for city council. Monserrate was booted from the state Senate after he was charged with slashing his girlfriend's face and then spent time in prison for misspending city funds while previously a councilman. The fight for control of the Senate, and the push to reunify the fractured Senate Dems, promises to be one of the nastiest of the coming election season.